this class we discuss about compensation theorem compensation theorem is useful in finding the changes in current or voltage when the value of resistance is changed in the circuit this theorem states that if the resistance of any branch of a network is changed from r to r plus delta r where the current was originally i then the change of current at any point in the network may be calculated by assuming that an emf i into delta r has been introduced into the modified branch while all other sources have their emfs suppressed and are represented by the internal resistances only that is the statement of compensation theorem application of compensation theorem number 1 this theorem is useful to calculate the sensitivity of electrical network and bridges number 2 it is useful in potentiometer circuits where slight change in one resistance result in a shift from a null condition these are all the applications of compensation theorem now we will see the application of compensation theorem here a very simple circuit this is 25 volts two resistors are connected in series this is 20 ohms this is 5 ohms the total resistance is 25 voltage is 25 i is equal to v by r 25 by 25 that is equal to 1 amps current flow in the circuit is 1 amps next when i add a 5 ohm resistor in the circuit what is the current by using compensation theorem i have to find first step i have to find the compensation voltage compensation voltage means the change in the current or voltage in each branch of the circuit is the current or voltage that would produce by an opposing voltage that is called as compensation voltage so the resistance i going to add is 5 that is delta r is equal to 5 current i is equal to 1 therefore compensation voltage vc is equal to minus i into delta r vc is equal to 1 into 5 that is equal to minus 5 volts the second step i have to rewire the circuit like this i short the 25 volt source here the voltage is opposing voltage therefore this is plus minus this is 5 volts the change in resistance is 5 ohm this is 5 ohm this is 20 i can find i dash i dash is equal to compensation voltage divided by total resistance that is equal to 5 by 30 20 plus 5 plus 5 that 30 the i dash is equal to 0.167 now the current flowing in the circuit with the increase in resistance that is equal to i minus i dash here i is equal to 1 i dash is equal to 0.167 1 minus 0.167 that is equal to 0.833 amps. I can verify. Here the total resistance is 20 plus 5 plus 5 that is equal to 30. Voltage is 25. Therefore I is equal to V by 25 by 30 that is equal to 0.833 amps. The next problem is three resistors, 40 ohm, 20 ohm, 20 ohm, and one voltage source 100 volts are connected as shown in figure. first step i have to find the total resistance then only i can find the branch currents the total resistance is 40 plus these two are in parallel 20 into 20 divided by 20 plus 20 that is equal to 40 plus 400 by 40 that is equal to 50 ohms total resistance is 50 i can find the current i is equal to v by r 100 by 50 is equal to 2 amps current flow in the 40 ohm resistance is 2 amps What is the voltage drop in the 40 ohm resistor? 40 into 2, that is equal to 80 volts. The supply voltage is 100. 100 minus 80 is equal to 20 volts. The 20 volt is appear across the 20 ohm resistor. I can find the current I is equal to V by R. 20 by 20, that is equal to 1 amps. Similarly, 20 by 20, this is equal to 1 amps. So current towards the junction is 2 amps. Current leaving the junction is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 amps. The next is I am going to add. 20 ohm resistor in the branch ab so delta r is equal to 20 i can find the compensation voltage compensation voltage vc is equal to i3 i3 is equal to 1 amps 
I3 into change in resistance delta R that is 20. 1 into 20 is equal to 20 volts. I know the compensation voltage. The source is short circuited because I assume the internal resistance is 0. Therefore, I short it. I redraw the circuit like this. This is 40 ohm, this is 20 ohm, this is 20, this is change in resistance 20 ohm. The compensation voltage is 20. Here, these two are in parallel. 40 and 20 are in parallel. These two are in series. 20 plus 20, 40. Therefore, total resistance is 40 into 20 divided by 60 plus 40. That is equal to 53.33 ohms. The total resistance is 53.33. I can find the current I is equal to V by R. 20 by 53.33. I is equal to 0.375. That is I dash. This is not I. This is I dash. I dash is equal to 0.375. Here, as per the compensation theorem, by changing the resistance in the any resistance in the branch, naturally the current also changes. Voltage as well as current also changes. Therefore, this uh, I, I3 minus I dash, that is I3 is equal to 1, 1 minus 0.375, that is equal to 0.625 amps. Here, initially the current is 2 amps. By adding the 20 ohm resistor, there will be a change in the current. Here, I will verify. This is 100 volts. This is 40. This is 20. This is total resistance is 40. 20 plus 20 is equal to 40. Again, these two resistance are in parallel. 20 into 40 divided by 20 plus 40 plus 40. That is equal to 53.33 ohms. Therefore, I is equal to 100 by 53.33. That is equal to 1.875 amps. Here, the initially the current is 2 amps. By adding a uh, one resistance in the branch uh, 20 ohm resistor, the current will become 0.1875 amps. Here, the voltage drop is 1.875 into 40, that is equal to 75. 100 minus 75 is equal to 25. So, voltage appear across the 20 ohm resistor is 25. Therefore, I is equal to 25 by 20, that is equal to 1.25. Similarly, 25 by 40 that is equal to 0.625 amps. Here, this current is 0.625. Here, I3 minus I dash is equal to 0.625. Here, compensation theorem is verified. Similarly, here 0.1875 plus 0.125 that is equal to 2. Here, 1.25 minus 1 that is equal to 0.25. Here, 0.625 minus 1 that is equal to 0.375. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.